Hi everyone, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about FHSS and the DSSS. So, what are those? Uh, imagine in the past we were using a specific frequency band uh, to tune our radio or TV or whatsoever. So, what the problem was, uh, you know, in that kind of uh, using the, the signal, things like uh, jamming, interception, uh, hacking, uh, interference, that things will happen. I mean, very probable to, uh, to happen. So for that reason, I mean, the history of that thing, it uh, goes back to the World War II, when they wanted to have uh, data in a way that the enemy uh, wasn't able to jam the signal. So FHSS uh, was introduced at that time. And as it is saying, the frequency hops, frequency hopping is pretty spectral. But uh, what it was, let's see. So as a scope of our work is on is on Wi-Fi, and uh, we know that uh, the original frequency space in uh, which 802.11 radios uh, were allowed to transmit was the license free 2.4 GHz, which is the ISM, Industrial, Scientific and Medical Band. So we start our work in that frequency. Like I would say the first one is 2.4 gigahertz and end of that is 2.4835 gigahertz. Uh, it will uh, divide it into 79 bands, but uh, just, oh, oops, sorry. We say uh, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six and seven like f1 f2 three four five six seven and the rest of that the rest of that is not now very important for us and here you can say just t1 two three four five six seven i think it's enough six and seven and the rest of it i would say tn so now we should divide them like this i'm just uh, gonna give you a visualization of that you know my drawing wasn't good at any time <laughs> i cannot say those were the days that i was good at drawing i was always awful so just forgive me for that thing Anyway, it's enough. In the past, it was like uh, like this, for example, it was frequency, it was time, and the channel were like, like, occupied like this. But in this kind of thing, I mean, in frequency, hopping is pretty spectrum, it is like this. For example, at first, F2 will be occupied, and then it leaps to, for example, F5, then uh, hops down to F3, jumps up uh, to F4, jumps down to F1, again F, I don't know, maybe 7, and this one, for example. And if we take a closer look at that, we'll see it will be like this. These are the hoppings. So it is why we call it frequency hopping spread spectrum. Very good. Now we know the concept of FHSS and uh, the thing is that it's like an agreement on both sides. I mean, sender and receiver, both, they know about uh, frequency hopping and the way the signal will come. Um, uh, therefore, these uh, hoppings are familiar on both sides. Anyway, after explaining everything, and uh, now I'm gonna say that FHSS has been deprecated and removed by REEE uh, from the standard. And what is the replacement? It is superseded by DSSS, Direct Sequence Spread Spectrum. In this way, it will be like the signal will spread all over the band. It will be like noise. So it will be less, uh, I mean, it will be difficult, uh, less likely uh, to to be jammed, less likely to be detected. And at the same time, 
it will XOR, exclusive OR, with a PN sequence, pseudo noise sequence. Uh, hence, I can say it will be encrypted as well. The good things of that. But how? Let's see. Okay, before going further, let's just uh, consider and review the concept of XOR, exclusive OR. Imagine we have A, B, like this and c as output so we say we have input we have our output and c is equal to a x or b uh, a b c so zero zero one one zero one and zero one Let's do the math. We know that for the ones which are the same, uh, it will be zero, like zero, zero. And for those which are different, it will be one. So it will be one and one. Okay, anyway, this is the concept of XOR. Now, let's consider our signal. This is the signal that I'm going to send, like I would say data one zero. And we have our pseudo noise sequence, which will be like mm, this, for example, one one zero zero one one zero one zero something like that uh, anyway let me so they are not the same and I mean in the concept of size one one zero zero cool and let's see it will be they will explore with each other so it will be like this What will be the result? One and one, as I said, same, uh, it will be zero. So zero, zero, different, it will be one. So one, one, same zero. And uh, like, again, one, zero, one, one, zero. So the trans, Emitted signal will be like this zero zero one one uh, zero one zero one one zero and if I delete that red lines we'll see uh, this is the concept of a D S, S, S. Direct sequence is pretty spectral. Now we have a better understanding and visualization of uh, both techniques in spread spectrum. Uh, but now there's a question, which one's faster? The thing is that data rates defined by the original 802.11 standard were 1 megabit per second and uh, 2 megabit per second, regardless of which spread spectrum technology was used. So it doesn't matter which one uh, we are using data rate is the same and we know that uh, data rate is the number of the bits that uh, physical layer carries per second and the last thing that we should bear that in mind is that data rate is a speed not the actual throughput and the thing that we are seeking for is a throughput to be honest not the speed we know that throughput is uh, the amount of uh, data that we can pass uh, through the channel and it depends on Shannon channel theory so I would say typically it's around half of the available data rate. Uh, okay, so cool. It was whatever that I wanted to tell you about FHSS and DSSS. Hopefully uh, you'll find this video like useful for you. 
and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel bye everyone bye